When Madonna does something, she makes sure she does it properly, and last night was no exception. She was at Sharon Stone's famous charity bash, Amphar, where she auctioned off her Chanel handbag complete with her lip gloss, lip balm and hair clips, as well as a piece of blotting paper which she'd wiped her face on. It must have taken someone's fancy though, because it sold for a whopping €300,000. But hey, why stop there? Madonna then decided to take it one step further by putting herself up for auction. She offered one lucky fan an autographed guitar and a private concert for two people backstage before any one of her shows on her upcoming Sticky and Sweet tour begin in August. And the price tag on that little lot? A mere €350. Euros. On Wednesday, Madonna premiered her documentary, I Am Because We Are, about AIDS in Malawi. And it seems making it has had a profound effect on her. Every time I watch the movie, I go on the journey that I went on. And every time I watch it, I cry. And every time I watch it, I feel blessed and grateful for my children and the life that I have and there's not a lot of things that happen in your life that make you feel grateful like that over and over again. Madonna also spoke about her planned adoption of baby David, which she was eager to defend. There's nothing controversial about the adoption. It's just there is just a lot of bureaucracy and administration and papers that have to be gone through. It was a big struggle and I didn't understand it, but in the end I rationalized when a woman has a child and goes through natural childbirth, she suffers. So I sort of went through my own kind of birthing pains with dealing with the press on my front doorstep. And she has a lot of support, especially from fellow singer Mary J. Blige, who said that the former Material Girl is still an inspiration to other musicians. She's, you know, at the peak of her career and she just continues to do it over and over again and takes care of herself. and. You know, she's just not afraid to be Madonna, and I, I respect that. So as she prepares to celebrate her 50th birthday in August, one thing's for sure, there really is no stopping her.